Well, I'm back in Bodferry. Bodferry, North Wales, a very sunny Bodferry too. And I'm heading up again, up to the Cluidians, Cluidian mountain range, doing a bit of the Offers Dyke and what have you. Um, and if you're ever in this area yourself and you want to do the Cluidians or what have you, there is actually a, a caravan park, and I'll just show you now. I can find the sign. There it is there. Station House. Station House Caravan Park. Uh, they do um, the caravans, obviously, but they take tents as well. Tourers, tents, and caravans. And they're pretty reasonable. I've never used it because I only. I only live about three miles down the road in Denby. But uh, it's just behind there. Station house, tourers, tents and what have you. Anyway, and they're pre pretty reasonable and apparently they're very friendly and it's a very good clean site. So if you're ever in the area, that's where you can stay. And uh, when you want a drink, just pop up the road to the Denorban, Denorban Arms for a <laughs> swift cold one. But uh, I'm heading, you can't see them really from me for me here. Tractors, lorries and everything. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute. When it's a bit quieter. Anyway, a bit of a quieter road. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm heading up towards the Cluidians. Um, split into two sections this walk. First half is by road. As you can see here, that's pretty wide, but I'll be turning off in about a mile or so. And it'll be the narrow country lanes of North Wales. And yeah, up to the, well, the base foothill of <laughs> cars. Foothill of Penaclodiae and then up to Moyla Park, which you just see it there. Well, that's the, the TV mast. Moyla Park is actually just behind that tree there. Amazing, isn't it? I said I'm on a quiet road. Switch the camera on to record, and about 10 cars come <laughs> down the road. But um, yeah, I'm just heading through another car now, another two cars. <laughs> just heading through Abawila. As you can see there, just about to pass through Abawila. Small village of Abawila. Um, and in about a mile or so, I will be turning off and then it will be very quiet because the roads will be about that, that wide. Well, not quite that wide, but it'll be probably just the width of a car, something like that. Talking of cars. Oh, God. But yeah. I'm glad to get off this road. Heading up to the foothill of Penaclodiae. Not quite on Penaclodiae itself, but running around the base of it. Um, the road too, it's, will be, like I say, it's two sections on this walk, the road, but uh, the roads, you can see here, heading into Abbey Wheel, are nice and wide. But as soon as I turn off, in about a mile or so, the roads then will be very narrow. And they'll be climbing as well. And then I'll leave the roads, and then it's mountain territory, heading up uh, to, actually towards summit of Moyla Park heading towards the transmitter now I'll be dropping down but it'll be no roads no cars all the way down back to Bod Ferry so anyway I'm just uh, entering Aberwheel small village of Aberwheel so beautiful day too and another car coming <laughs> anyway I'll get back to you in a minute or even a lorry <laughs> Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute. Hopefully when it's a bit quieter. Beautiful day. Anyway, this is Abba Wheeler. Okay, just passed through Abba Wheeler and you can see both mountains from here. Of Penaclothiae. 
I'll be heading up to sort of the, the base of that so somewhere here I'll be sort of joining a, a byway and then I'll be making my way across and up to Moira Park and yet another car so yeah in about a mile or so I'll be turning off and it will be very quiet then so anyway keep going I was going to do more of a, a longer walk today. I intended to do quite a long distance walk, but I'm on plan B. This is long enough. It's a good few mile and there's a good bit of climbing. And also it contains cars. White cars, red cars, any color you like. Uh, yeah, but um, it does uh, involve Good bit of climbing. Flat walks are okay, they're all right. Flat long distance walks, perhaps 20, 30 mile. But this is, I don't know, a good few mile, but it involves climbing as well. And also mountain sections or a mountain section. So yeah, anyway, I'll be turning off. Probably have been about half a mile, something like that. And the roads then will be very narrow country lane. Um, and also climbing. And hopefully less cars. Um, 500 slath or 500 yards consider yourself told Arav slow see you learn Welsh in my walking videos at the same time as looking towards Denby Denby town Anyway, keep going. What's this? I'm not having this. Someone's nicked my catchphrase. I'm not having that. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep going. There's Dimbich, Denby, and I'm in need of a climb. <laughs> uh, hopefully, shortly, I will be turning off, and then I'll be starting to climb. This 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 walk now, this section, it's too flat for my liking. <laughs> I want to climb. That's what I want to be up there. Anyway, keep going, and yes, another car. <laughs> Right, so I'm actually turning off for a back road. That is a back road. I've never seen it so busy. Anyway, turning off. There we go. Just like I said, hitting the narrow country lanes. Listen to that. Silence, no cars. Just the wildlife. And I'll be starting to climb now too. Just up my street. Or just up my country lane. This is what I want. This is what I like. Now then, I'll be turning second right, and then I'll be heading. Just see a bit of it there, Penaclothia. I'll be actually joining a byway, which I'll show you well later on, obviously. But um, and then I'm off road. Then I'm in the mountains. Uh, I'll leave Penaclothia. It's just like on the sort of the base of it. Um, the foothill of Penaclothia or whatever you want to call it and then I'll be climbing up to Moila Park 
onwards and upwards keep going starting to climb already now although it's weird because uh, you know when you show it on camera you can be on a hill like that and it doesn't look very steep but uh, it is gaining height now just what I like anyway keep going as you can see very narrow too but hopefully it'll be car free or I'll just get the odd one every half an hour or something like that anyway keep going this is more like it this is steep like I said it may not look it but the circulation is flowing gaining height with every step soon well I say soon probably about a mile I'll reach the byway and then it'll be uh, mountain country then no roads at all Just see a fraction just between them two trees there of Penaclovia. Um But like I said earlier, I'll be just joining the uh, the byway which runs just at the foot of it. Climbing all the way, steady, steady climb. It's actually getting steeper. And yes, I have had to slow down a bit. It's getting really steep now. Anyway, keep going. That's all you can do with it. But I have had to sort of slow down. It's <laughs> my feet are, are sort of slipping back on the chippings. It's that steep. Amazing. And it's, it's actually getting steeper. Amazing, man. If there was steeper vision, you can see it there, but it could around that bend. But I know it's weird, probably doesn't look it on camera. But this is, it's like that. You can feel my feet sl sliding back. Amazing. Anyway, keep going. Wow, that was steep. It's actually levels off a bit now. That was ridiculously steep. That's when you head into the hills, what do you expect? Look at that. Just look at that. Hey? Amazing. Yeah, it's a, uh, well, I say level off, it's still steeper compared to that bit. This is flat. <laughs> anyway, you know, I'm going to say it, keep going. And as you can see, Penaclovia is getting closer and closer. Turn off here now. And at the end of this track, 
I'll be joining the byway. Keep going. And yes, it's even climbing even more. But not as steep as that first section. That was ridiculously steep. <laughs> but I made it. You can see that, Kilforth Byway, which I'm just going to join now. I can see the gate at the end of this track. And I'll just give you a quick look from here, from where I am now. When I reach that gate there, I'll be on the byway, turn left. I'll be making my way across. Just about make it out there, that's the byway. And then I'll be heading off up to Moyla Park. See the transmitter there? And then up onto Moyla Park. Peak there. And then I'll be I'll be uh, dropping down, back down into Bod Ferry. Mountain country, just what I like. Midges as well, loads of them, blooming things. Anyway, cracking day. Beautiful day for a walk. Okay, I am now on Kilforth Byway. Just looking back at the views. Look at that. Does it get any better? Um, if I can make out, uh, I don't know, in the background, hopefully. A bit misty, but if I pan across, that's the Snowdonia mountain range. That's Travan. I'm sure I've got Travan. I can hardly, whoops, I can hardly see because of the bright conditions. But anyway, it's the Snowdonia mountain range. The backdrop there. It's Denby in the foreground. Layla Cluid. And pan across. Just about to see a bit of rail, coastal town of rail, and the sea there. Anyway, that's where I am heading. Over onto uh, there, I can just about make out the cairn, I think. That's it there, yeah. So I'll be heading. Whoops. Where is it? Anyway, I think you got a glimpse of the cairn. Hopefully, there it is there. Uh, I'll make it to there and then I'll drop down into Bot Ferry. Nice leisurely stroll. There's another view. Have a look at the view. Beautiful, isn't it? Day like today, too. Can't beat it. Anyway, keep going. And I forgot to mention to the, the other end of this byway is Coed Llangwyfan. Um, and then you drop down into Llandurnog then. But uh, I'm not going that way obviously, I'm heading up towards Moyla Park. But I just thought I'd mention it. Coed Llangwyfan, which means Llangwyfan Forest. Or Llangwyfan Wood. Just looking back now, I'll show you where I started the walk, Bod Ferry. Way down the bottom there. That's Bod Ferry, that's where I've started the walk. When I was talking about the campsite and what have you. And there is 
Upper Wheeler, a village I walked through and then you can see I've made my way around through the countryside. It's where I am now. <laughs> About halfway I think, that's all. And anyway, I'm off the road. No cars! Just a couple of mountain bikers went past just earlier on. But uh, it's mountain country all the way now. All the way down until um, I get back to Bodfari. like a moth to the light draws you to it well actually I'm not going anywhere near the mast street well when I say not going anywhere near but not exactly to the base of the mast I'll be just veering off to the left going up that path there I can make it out uh, up there you have to um, bear with me it's such bright conditions when I uh, look at the, the screen on the camera, I can't see anything, so I'm just sort of guessing where things are that bright on the screen. But anyway, enough of my waffling. I'll be leaving the uh, byway in a minute. Heading straight up to the top of Moiler Park. And the club the eye, Bob Farry, Moiler Park. And that's where I'm heading, Moiler Park. Just in case I never mentioned it. <sighs> Gaining height again now. Uh, just looking back, that's Penaclaw the eye. And there's a few on it too, if I can if I can find them. Hopefully you can see some walkers there. And there's some just gone down the byway as well. Ah, God, it's warm now. Anyway, keep going. Another pretty steep section. Um, I intended, this is a pretty good long distance walk, as I showed you earlier from the byway there, um, when I started the walk from Bud Ferry. Two sections, road and then the mountains. Yeah, it's fairly, I don't know how long it is, a good few miles, but I did intend doing a much longer walk today. But for one reason or another, I had to go on Plan B. But this is a it's a fair old track, to be fair, with a lot of climbing as well, as you can see. Gaining height now, and it's boiling down there. When I first started this section, absolutely roasting. No, no breeze, no wind, nothing. There's a bit more air up here, you know. Anyway. It's still very warm, but I'm oh, saying that the breeze has dro dropped now. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Leveling off now. Looking over towards the Wirral, Liverpool, and Birkenhead, and that. Liverpool's somewhere there, over the Mersey. Vela Cluid and looking back to Penaclothia, I'll try and get the summit in for you, which is there, you can see the little cairn, which is actually a hill fort. Uh, Moyle Arthur is tucked away between Moyle Vamai and Penaclothia. There's Moyle Vamai, 
Jubilee Tower. I won't zoom in any further because it'll be all over the place. And in between them two is Moyle Arthur. But you can't see it tucked in between the two of them. But anyway, nice and level now. I am actually on the tops. Making my way for the cairn. Now then, if I can find it. Where is it? There it is. That's where I'm heading. Oops, hang on. There you go. That cairn that I showed you before, earlier on. From the byway there, somewhere. Actually, you can see where I uh, filmed it from there. That bit there. That's where I filmed the cairn from. And that's where I'm heading. I'm up on the tops now, I can't get any higher. And it'll be downhill all the way from that cairn. Just admire the views for a bit and have a drink, get some fluids, and then I'll probably drop back down. Take a few photos and what have you and just mess about then. I'll drop down into to Bob Ferry, as you can see there. That's where I started the walk, sunny Bob Ferry. Here I am, Moiler Park. Give you a 360. Does it get any better than that? Anyway. That's it, made it to Moiler Park, so I'll be dropping down now, all the way back down to Bud Ferry. Can't beat it. Downhill all the way, literally all the way. Breezy now too, but it's very warm. It's a very warm breeze, but it's very welcome. Well, that's it. I'm back in Bud Ferry. So that means it's the end of the long distance walk. Bud Ferry to the Cludians, Cludian Mountain Range in North Wales. 
So, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again.